Hi, it's Jason with Florida Solar Design Group. Today I'm going to go over the FPL net metering bill and show you how to read it. This is my February 20th, 2015 bill. And the first thing you're going to want to look at is the meter summary. This shows you your current reading and your previous meter reading. And on my bill, the first thing that really jumps out is the math doesn't work. So 16616 minus 15950 obviously is not zero. So we need to figure out why that is. If you look over in the new charges section, however, you'll see that I was not charged for any electricity for the month. The only charges there are the customer charge for 757 and some taxes there uh, for a total of 812. So that's good. I wasn't charged for energy that I didn't use from the utility. The way that you reconcile the two is go to the keep in mind section. The first line in the keep in mind section shows you how much solar energy you produced during the month, how much you delivered to the utility, and how much was re uh, applied to reduce your bill. Now the key is FPL has no idea how much electricity you really produced with your solar energy system. All they know is how much energy you delivered to the grid in excess of the energy that you used when you were using it. So at any given moment, if you're producing more energy than you're consuming, you're delivering energy to the grid. If you are consuming more energy than you're producing, you're drawing energy from the grid. They can only see the energy flowing in either direction. In this particular case, we see that 716 kilowatt hours were sent to the grid during this period and 666 kilowatt hours were applied to reduce your bill. That just means that that difference from the meter summary of 666, that was utility energy that I used, but I also produced 716 kilowatt hours, so they're gonna wipe out the 666. Now the next line is the kilowatt hour reserve. I banked 50 kilowatt hours this month. That means I have 50, kilowatt hours that I can use in future months to apply to those bills. Now, if we look at my next bill for the following month, you'll see that my meter summary again does not add up or subtract up. Uh, 17,556 minus 16,616 does not equal 333. Now, if you go look at the new charges section of the bill, you'll see that I was, in fact, charged for some electricity this month. They charged me for 333 kilowatt hours of energy that I used in excess of what I produced. So the electric service amount um, includes a customer charge, a non-fuel charge, and a fuel charge for the electricity that I used with a total amount of 3657. So again, 333 kilowatt hours were was my total consumption, uh, net consumption for the month. And if you go down to the keep in mind section on this bill, for some reason they don't put it in the same place uh, when you underproduce. It is the last line, and they say that 557 kilowatt hours were sent to the grid, 607 were applied to reduce the bill, and my kilowatt hour reserve decreased by 50. So what that means is they that I, the excess energy that I produced during the month was only 557 kilowatt hours, but because I had 50 in reserve, they credited me 607 during this month. So if you add up the 607 plus the 333 plus my previous reading, you'll get the current reading of 17,556. Clear as mud, right? Well, it would be a lot easier if they put those uh, values in the meter summary section, but unfortunately they don't. It's just important that you know where to look for your energy production and also keep in mind, again, that FPL has no idea how much energy you're actually producing with your solar energy system, only the amount of energy flow through their meter. I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, give us a call here at Florida Solar Design Group, and we'll see what we can do to help you. Thanks. Bye.